Hi, I'm Maddie, and I'm from Callaghan College, Jesmond, and I'm here at the Newcastle Art Gallery with... Tegan Baker from Warners Bay High School. What was it that actually inspired you? Well, my um, art teacher, before I started my artwork, came back from this um, Italian town called Cinquetera, and I just fell in love with the buildings and the way everything was set out. It was just beautiful. Yeah. And I really wanted to use that in my work. Did any artists actually inspire you? I remember seeing a couple of years ago my first Brett Whiteley. It was the 15 Great Dog Pisses of Paris and I thought it was wonderful. And I wanted to incorporate like aspects of his like artist practice into my own work. Why did you choose to work in this medium? Well, I used to really love drawing, but then I discovered I sucked at it. So um, I started experimenting with um, different medias and I found that I really loved the versatility that you get from using found objects and recycled things in your work. It just gives it so much more depth. What steps and processes did you take to achieve the end result? Well, I didn't so much take stages and steps per se, it was kind of more a continual flow of work yeah. because I found that in my um, art making I'm more of a practice based artist whereas some are more conceptual and I developed my concept from my artist practice. Did you have any moments of doubt? I definitely had moments of doubt when completing my artwork because no matter how old the artist is, you always go through that stage, those stages of like self-doubt, self-questioning. Is this good enough? Is, is this what I want it to look like in the end? How did you overcome the doubt that you went through? Well, I had a lot of help from like, my peers and my teacher kind of prodding me along in the right direction. And yeah, without them, I probably still wouldn't be finished. <laughs> How much does your final artwork differ from the original concept? Uh, personally, I didn't have a concept to begin with. It was more of a developmental thing. Like, my practice came from like what I liked and what influences I saw, more so than a, a based around a concept, really. And um, but. During my art making, I developed a concept. Like to me, my art making was a cathartic experience. Do you have any advice for future Year Twelve students doing their major work? Yeah, um, the typical ones, like uh, time management and knowing your direction and getting all your work handed in on time. But I think the most important one to me would be do what you want to do. With it. If you're a photographer, do photography. If you're a painter, do, do paintings. Yeah. Do what makes you happy because you shouldn't be so obsessed with what you, what you think people want and what they expect. What does it mean to you to be included in Art Express? I think it's a great honour to be included in Art Express because, you know, everyone knows about it. Like, in schools, everyone's striving to you know, in the Year 12 HSE artwork to be in Art Express and, you know, it's so well advertised and I think that's great to get, like, artwork, especially young people's artwork, out into the public. On behalf of the Newcastle Art Gallery and Callaghan College Jesmond, we'd like to thank you all for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.